Hi guys, we're at the other one. I believe it's 5307, oh, 5703 actually, um, 18th Avenue Court Southeast. Um, this one is in a older neighborhood. Um, this is the community here. So it's an older neighborhood. Um, the homes, some of them have been remodeled, some of them haven't. So the other one, I believe, was closer to parks. This one, um, you're, you're close to parks, but it's not as close. They're not within the community. Um, the roof looks like it's brand new. Chimney looks good. Um, there are some cracks in the sidewalk, or in the uh, driveway, excuse me. So there are cracks throughout, um, which isn't uncommon given the age of the home. Um, it looks like they did replace some of the concrete here um, that leads up to the home. So let's go inside. Um, they did not replace siding. They did paint, which is great, but they just didn't replace siding, um, which is not a big deal. Just, you know, it's one of those things that people, if it's fine, they'll just paint over it. If it needs to be replaced, they usually replace it. Okay, so walking in. Okay, so walking in, um, laminate flooring got the open concept feel so they removed probably a wall that was here at some point and opened it up um, they have like a little seating area here it has a wood burning fireplace um, I believe this is just wallpaper here yep it's just wallpaper um, but that does have a new mantle um, little dining area this uh, kitchen looks like it's been remodeled. Um, I can't tell if they, I, from what I can tell, they did not replace the cabinets just because of the um, little things like this. Um, so I don't think they replaced the cabinets, but they were replaced at some point. These are not the original cabinets that were in the home. Um, so they were replaced and they just added um, hardware to like pools and things like that to the um, cabinets. It is soft close, so that is nice. But again, I think these are just used cabinets. Um, so they probably have been here. Um, they did add this little feature here, accent wall. It does have subway tile. Um, this countertop is new. This is a quartz countertop. Um, craftsmanship is okay. I mean, like there's some detail here that I feel like they should have just went ahead and brought the tile all the way through since this is kind of flat and doesn't look very good um but the craftsmanship is like mm, okay um layout i mean it is what it is with the the amount of space that you have here in this home um it does have a flat top cook stove um stainless steel appliances this door does have some dings in it as you can see so i'm not sure if they that was already there or if they just bought a used door uh it looks like washer and dryer would be outside versus inside so there is your piping for that the furnace just kicked on there's your chimney there and then it's um two car garage it's pretty deep so it's stand uh, not standard it's a little deeper than your standard two car garage Okay, just gonna give you a view from this end. You have a ceiling fan in here. Coat closet. Bathroom number one. So it has tile uh, backsplash in the tub, which is nice. Oh, this opens up to a bedroom here. Okay, so let me do it from this side so you can see. So this would have been bedroom number one, just to show you, um, which I'm assuming would be the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is sharing this bathroom since there's only the one bathroom in the house. So it opens up to the hallway or from the master. Closet there back into the hallway so coming back bathroom was right here master was right here then it has this 
they really love this wallpaper. Um, they added more in here. So here is bedroom number two. Um, it has a ceiling fan. The bedrooms, as far as size-wise goes, is not very big, which is to be expected with the age of the home. Um, they don't, they didn't do a lot of, like this is probably a twin size bed here. The trim looks like they may have kept the original trim and then they've added these quarter, quarter rounds uh, pieces to it um, to just kind of accent it and make it look larger than it is and to hide all the defects, but it is the original trim. It's not um, the newer trim that you would expect like MDF. This is like wood trim. This has a closet. This is bedroom number three does have a ceiling fan it has popcorn ceiling um, which is an older ceiling um, expected for the age and then this is a closet here like a linen closet so they added this nice cool door this um, wallpaper is buckling right here you probably can't see it from the video but yeah, that's that's about on a, it on this one. I'm gonna show you the exterior, just so you can see the backyard. Um, but that's pretty much it for the interior. Sorry, I'm like walking around with this thing. I'm probably getting dizzy. Okay, French doors. And it has this uh, composite decking, which lasts forever. And it has a step here. Then they fence the front part so that you can have it fully fenced back here. Let me show you the other side. I have my boots on this time. Right there. Um, just for your own FYI, at some point you might want to grab one of those like elbows to kind of pull this away from the house because any water that's puddling is going to puddle towards the home. Um, you can see here where the siding is damaged and they didn't replace that. There's some more over here. So there's just little things, you know. Um, unfortunately, with flipped homes, is hit or miss what you're going to get. Some um, investors really put energy and money towards certain things while others don't. They did replace the window, so they did the major stuff. It's just that, you know, that siding at some point here in Washington, um, you want to address it to make sure no water is getting under there. So um, that's it for this one. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I am around. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye-bye.